Hey everyone, it's Jacinta from Posture Tonic. I am so excited to announce our Sculpt and Nutrition 14 day challenge. Each day we'll be moving through 30 minute full body workouts that is a blend of Pilates, strength with bursts of cardio to help sculpt and tone through your entire body. We are pairing this with a high protein meal plan that you can download for free in the description box down below. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel to help support this free challenge and then grab your equipment and let's get ready to sculpt. Okay guys, we're gonna get stuck into it. You need a booty band shortly, just have it to the side. We'll start with our warm up, get everything mobilized and then we have our full body workout coming. So I want you to meet me in a four point kneel here now. We're gonna take some big inhalations, a big reach up with the right arm and then twisting that arm all the way through. And then returning back to four point nail, we'll take it to the second side. So alternating right to left. So just preparing here, take a big breath in, reaching the arm up and then taking it through, spiraling the rib cage. And back through to that four point nail. Again, just changing size with each rep. Really taking your gaze all the way up to really twist. That'll help. Last one on this side. And then we'll meet in our little Z sit. So for a mermaid, I'm gonna bring my left shin forward, right leg is bent. And then from here, left hand comes behind. So same arm to the leg. Just gonna push those hips forward. Feel a nice, beautiful opening through the front here. So go ahead and meet me here and then gently lowering those hips. The other hand comes down and we side bend towards the bent knee. And again, just keep moving in and out of those two shapes. See so if you can get a little bit more range, a little bit more push forward, opening up and that beautiful side bend. Okay, we're gonna do it on the second side. So just swinging the legs around to change. Again, same hand to that front knee is behind you. We're pushing the hips forward, reaching through the fingertips, squeezing the glutes to press forward and really open up through the hips. And then you're coming down through the hips and that nice side bend. Alrighty, make your way to standing here now. Just got some walking out to planks. Keeping the legs straight, we're gonna roll our chin down, rolling down through the spine, hands come to the floor, and a simple walk out to your plank. I just want you to squeeze your entire body, hold it there for two seconds, and then walk it back in. Again, trying to keep your legs straight, round your spine though to stand up. Just walking yourself all the way up, we'll meet standing. Warming up our hips from here. We're gonna take some big circles, one on each side, opening out and around. 
Just trying to get some mobility through those hips. All right, ready? Take it up and around. Make sure you're nice and equal. Finish up that last one. All right, we're gonna finish our warm up up with a bit of cardio. It's pop squats, tapping the floor, popping the feet in, and jumping back out. Feet are nice and wide, chest is open and proud. We tap the floor, let's go. Jump it in, jump it out. Let's really push here, out and in, let's go. You're over halfway, that's for sure. Bring that energy. We're working with our band after this, so let's collect it in 10 seconds time. Last one. Come all the way to stand, awesome work. All right, let's pop that band just above those knees. I've got a plank. Flamingo. So we're on our elbows. On those forearms, stepping back into your plank, draw one knee in, round your spine, pike your hips up, and then lengthen back out to your plank. Other side, left knee comes in, round, lifting your hips, come back to neutral, step it back out. Really driving that knee in, push into that band. taking a fire hydrant out with that right leg. So right leg will float open, the band's just above your knees, adjust it, zip the core in, find the center, exhale breath to open, and inhale to lower. Next up, it's a donkey kick. So same leg will be working. We'll just be driving the heel up with a bent knee and lowering it back down. You can keep your arms staggered like this, or maybe you'd like to come onto both forearms. Either way, wrap those ribs in, ribs to hips, and then taking that big exhale, kicking the heel up. All right, just coming off those wrists for a second. Shake it off, we'll be moving to the second side. Fire hydrant on the left. I'm gonna just flip around. 
working the left side, okay? Stack it, and off we go. Floating the left knee out, and come back in. All right, donkey kick is up next. Driving the heel up like we're trying to stamp the roof, lowering back down, adjusting their forearms wherever you need. All right, take it away, flex the foot, stamping up. Maintaining that neutral spine, so think ribs to hips to keep still. Squeeze the life out of that left glute. Last big squeeze at the top, coming back down. All right, tuck your toes under, send your weight back. From here, I'm gonna come into our prison squat. So one foot at a time comes up, and then a little jump at the top, coming back down onto those knees. Okay, ready? Foot, foot, your low little leap, and then coming back down onto your knees. And jump, keep going. Pushing away nice and explosive at the top. This is where we create change now when it gets a little bit tough, so keep pushing through. All right, stay standing. Band is adjusted just above the knees. Stand into the middle of your mat. Step out to the left side into a lateral lunge. Now, as you push the mat away, you're going to kick your leg out to the side and come straight back over. Let's go out to the side, pushing away, find your balance and take it down nice and softly. top of your mat, we'll be stepping the left foot back into a reverse lunge, stepping across to your curtsy. Okay, so left foot will step back, you're hinging your body forward, stay low as we take the leg across and then stand back up. Okay, coming to the middle of your mat, we'll be stepping out to the right side and a big kick out to the side, leaning right over. So tipping your body weight forward, 
hips come back, kicking out to the side. Go ahead. Walking to the top of your mat. How are we doing there with those glutes? Let's get our reverse lunge on, stepping the right foot back, okay? You're hinging forward, stepping across for that curtsy, pushing the floor away. Coming down, across, and stand. Sliding the band just above your ankles. Last one for the glutes and legs. We're gonna take a little hinge, a lean forward, and we're going for three scooters on each side. Stepping out and in three times, and then to the other side. Core is on. Use a wall if you need it for balance, okay? Or a chair. Alrighty, let's take that band off. It's going above your elbows or wrists. We're gonna be taking, no, we'll take it above your elbows. We're gonna take it down onto your plank, into a plank, push up, and then jump or step your feet in half, little squat, let's go. This is our cardio. So one push up, jump it in. All right, work with intensity here. Push yourself, push yourself. We are getting stronger together. Laying down onto your tummy. Now we slide the band above your wrists. Okay, so your arms are gonna come in at your chest here. We're floating the chest up, pulling or reaching the arms forward, pull the band open, and then bring the band back to your chest. So stay lifted up through the upper body, reaching, opening, and back in. If you need a breather, you're just lowering down through the chest between each one. All right, let's just pop that band down for a second. You're going to turn your head, bend your knees, and have your hands down by your side. 
From here, we're gonna float up, extend the legs, pulsing the arms five times before we meet back down onto one ear, resting the arms, bend the knees, lifting up, extend everything, hold there for five, three, two, one, bend and rest. Finish up those last pulses, push yourself all the way up. You're kneeling, grabbing that band once again, above the wrist, and we're just gonna be opening out and in here. Feeling a little pinch through the back. <clears throat> okay, reaching those arms, big strong exhale, open, back to center. All right, sliding the band above those wrists. It's a child's pose to a tricep push-up. So I'm gonna begin in a half plank. One tricep push-up, meaning the elbows are close to the body. You push them out of way and just simply rest into a quick child's pose between each one. Let's go. Alrighty, no band, plank rotations, you're on your hands, we're going to be twisting the toes to find a side plank. So, locking out that core, ribs to hips, squeezing the glutes, turn your toes, reaching up to a nice side plank, and then just taking it back through to the centre, slowly to the other side. All right, walking your hands towards your feet, slowly roll yourself up, we'll meet standing. Cardio time, butt kicks now, and we're lightly tapping your heels towards your butt as we run it out. 45 seconds, give me all the energy now. We have our cool down after this, go. Run it out. <sighs> and then big reach up with the arms. And we're gonna cool down with a big exhale at the bottom. Let it go. 
bringing in some fresh oxygen at the top and then ragdoll down. Let's go. From here, we're just going to come down, holding onto those elbows. Let your head just be as heavy as possible. Feel that traction in the spine. And then it's a nice figure of eight sway from one leg to the other. I'm trying to really just come into that exhale breath. It's long and slow. You can also interlace those hands for a shoulder stretch on this one as well. Already coming down onto your back, you're laying down, pulling that right knee in towards your chest. Taking that right leg across for a spine stretch. And opening the right arm and take your gaze to that hand. Now you can either stay here or you can always reset coming back in and then twisting back over. We're going to take it to the second side. So left knee will be pulled in. Right leg is heavy. Taking that leg across. All right, meet me here. Opening that left arm. And slowly, we will meet seated. All right. And let's just come across those legs, taking the right hand out to the side, bringing that left hand to your ear and just dropping your ear to your shoulder. And slowly swap to the other side. Beautiful, we're gonna interlace the hands behind you, shine the chest forward. Big shoulder squeeze, lifting the chest. You can do this standing or seated. 
and then we'll just alternate with a front clasped hand and pressing forward, pulling the shoulder blades apart. So staying in each position for like five seconds. And we'll just stretch it out here through the shoulders and then you're all done. Beautiful work guys, you are all done. I hope that you enjoyed today's full body sculpt. If you did, leave your comment down below. Let me know how you got on. Before you go, just a quick shout out to my incredible members. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for staying here and supporting the channel. You can support my channel by joining my memberships here. They start as low as five Australian dollars per month. And I can see you clearly in the comments. So do make sure you're commenting away for free. You could just simply like and subscribe to my channel here. This really does help my channel to be seen to more people just like you that would love to join in. So that's it guys, my name is Jacinta from Posture Tonic. Take care of yourselves, have a great sleep after today's workout and I'll see you back here for more workouts really soon.